are different types of structures of lipids, such as the structure for a phospholipid, but this diagram is showing the general structure of a lipid. Fatty acids can be saturated or unsaturated. We determine saturation level by identifying the types of co covalent bonds present in the hydrocarbon chain of a fatty acid. Before examining the hydrocarbon chain of a fatty acid, first identify the one oxygen to carbon double bond to the carboxyl function group, which is present in all fatty acids and does not affect saturation. If all carbon to carbon bonds in the hydrocarbon chain are single covalent bonds, the fatty acid is saturated with as many hydrogen atoms as possible. Therefore, the fatty acid is saturated. When one or more carbon to carbon double bonds are present, the fatty acid is not saturated with hydrogen atoms and all is unsaturated. The carbon atoms involved in each double bond are bonded to one less hydrogen atom than the carbon atoms involved in each single bond. This is an unsaturated state because changing a double bond into a single bond would increase the number of hydrogen atoms. Some functions of a lipid in use for energy storage, making biological membranes ins insulate, protect your body, buoyancy, and acting as hormones. It is now known that lipids play a much more important role in the body than previously believed. It was previously known that lipids played the role of a storage of storage of energy or forming cell membranes alone. Saturated and unsaturated fats, and it is important to know the difference between the two. Some examples of saturated fats are animal meat, certain plant oils, dairy products, processed meats, and prepackaged snacks. Unsatur unsaturated fats are things like nuts, plant oils, fish, olives, and avocados. Saturated fats can increase your chance of heart disease, raise your level of LDL, and increase your risk for, for type 2 diabetes. Unsaturated fats can help lower cholesterol levels and reduce the risk of heart disease. To sum it up, saturated fats are unhealthy and unsaturated fats are healthy. The function of enzymes. The animation here shows the hydrolysis of sucrose. Hydrolysis means the breaking apart of something with a chemical reaction with water. The larger molecule is sucrose and is being broken into glucose, 6C and fructose 5C. Enzymes are special proteins that speed up chemical reactions in cells. As the cells need to change, some of these reactions need to speed up while others slow down. The presence of an enzyme can help greatly speed up a chemical reaction. To start a chemical reaction, it is first necessary to weaken chemical bonds in the reactant molecules. This activation process requires that the molecules absorb energy. For example, to burn a match, you need to revive the initial energy to start burning the match and release the stored chemical energy that is in the match head. The startup energy is called activation energy because it activates the reactants and triggers a chemical reaction. Enzymes provide a way for reactions to occur at the cell's normal temperature. An enzyme doesn't supply activation energy to the reacting molecules, but instead lowers the energy requirement barrier so that the reaction can proceed at normal cells' temperatures. The reason is that the shape of each enzyme fits the shape of only particular reactant molecules. A specific reactant acted upon by an enzyme is that called the enzyme subtrate. The subtrate files into a particular region of the enzyme, called the active site. This perfect fit is sometimes called a lock and key model.